Are they like England's little brother? That is going to offend so many Welsh people, I'm sorry. Hi guys, welcome back to another tier list. Myself and Angelina are right here, bringing you every single team from Euro 2020. We have five categories. We have potential winners, dark horse, surprise, slim chance, no chance, and we will start with Group A. Okay, so we are going with Turkey. Okay, let's do this me, then you, then me, then you. Okay. Okay, Turkey. Oh, they've got some good players. I'm going to go for a surprise. I don't know what they're going to do, but they're going to surprise some people. Mm. Okay. Surprise. Fair enough. Um, Italy. I think they could actually be dark horses. I think they could actually surprise quite a few people. Looking at the squad, I mm. think, yeah, they, they could do something decent. Um, Wales. Oh, you know what? Wales were, were a good... A good outfit You're always last gonna time. Want them to yeah. do well, but they're like England's little brother. That is going to offend so many Welsh people. I'm sorry. Um, I will give them a slim chance, though. Sorry, guys. They mm. might they might uh, surprise people again. Okay. Um, we've got in Group A also Switzerland. Uh, mm. No chance, really. I'm sorry, Switzerland, <laughs> but yeah, I can't really see them doing much in this competition. Um, I mean, going on to Group B, we have of course got Denmark. Oh, Denmark have a very good team. Mm. Yeah, I'm actually going to go Dark Horse. I think they've really got what it takes to surprise people. Mm. And um, I keep saying that, even though it's a different category. Mm. Uh, but I'm going to put them one higher. Go for Dark Horse for Denmark. Okay. Um, we've next got Finland. Um... Oh, the Finnish. What, everyone always points at Timu Puki as the man. Yeah, but I'm not too sure. I'm going to have to go with no chance again. I'm just not really sure what they're going to bring. Um, Belgium. <sighs> this is a tough one. This is this is really tough. I feel like defensively they're not as young or as sharp as they once mm. were. It might be their downfall, but they're still so good going forward. Oh, I'm going to go dark horse for Belgium. I'm okay. not going to put them up there. Sorry, guys. Okay. Um, we've also got Russia. I know Russia did surprise in the World yeah, Cup. Yeah, they did. Um, so for that, I will give them a slim chance i'm being kind i think giving them a slim chance <laughs> i mean looking at group c we've got one team that's definitely up for debate netherlands oh my gosh yeah um i still think that they're a very good side on paper i'm not sure how they're going to put it together on the pitch having said that they do have a relatively easier group than 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 you would have thought mm. um I'm going to go surprise. They're going to surprise some people, but I'm not sure they're going to be a, a dark horse. Mm -hmm. um, we've also got Ukraine. Now, just because of this group, um, I, I will give them a slim chance. Um, I'm not the most well rehearsed on the Ukraine and every single player, I'll be honest, but I, I'll, I'll give them a slim chance. Now, now, Matt, Austria. I said this in the video. By the way, we made uh, like an official predictions video. Mm -hmm. Check it out. Um, surprise. I said they were going to be like the dark horse to do something <laughs> interesting, and I'm just really hoping that they will. Um, yeah, I'm going to go Austria to surprise some people, especially because, like we said, that group's a little bit easier. I don't want to be harsh to North Macedonia. Is that the... I was going to say, this is the next team. North Macedonia, oh. I'm really sorry. I feel like I'm being a hater with every single team I'm talking about, but... I, no, no chance. Pure hater. I know, <laughs> haters are going to hate, you know what I mean? So, yeah, uh, but I mean, going into the next group, we have got, don't do us dirty here, Matt, because we've got England. <sighs> as much as you want this to be an informed decision, you also yeah. cannot ignore, it's coming home, three <laughs> lines on home. our shirt, all the songs in the back of your head. So uh, I will be, part of me is being optimistic as an England fan, part of me is looking at, their attacking line and seeing an absurd amount of quality mm. um second or third probably best attack in the in the um in the competition i'm gonna go potential winners for england oh i can feel the comments already the tension the pressure is oh, on now God. yeah no pressure guys yeah um we've got croatia um obviously did very well in the world cup but then mm. when you look at there's a couple of older players. I'm looking at you, Luka Modric. Great yeah. player still, but maybe Damn not got the same legs. Well. But um, I think they'll still have a good... Was good chance one of the categories? Good chance. Dark yeah. Horse. Mm. Maybe. Dark Horse and Surprise you know seem eerily similar. I feel like... 
I'll go Dark Horse because I feel like although they are aging a little bit, mm. they were Dark Horses in the World Cup, really. Yeah, so. and they got to the final and now they're still a Dark Horse. Yeah. What do Croatia have to do, Angelina? More. Hater. Better. <laughs> um, we've also got, um, we have also got Scotland. Hmm. Yeah, Scotland, not the greatest squad. Mm. Individually. Not names, yeah. yeah. Individually, they've got some okay players, but I think as a team, ah, the thing is, with Croatia and England, it's going to be difficult. I'm going to give them a slim chance. Mm. Oh, I've put them in there with Wales. Oh, I feel mm. terrible. I love both of those teams. Sorry, guys. And possibly joining them in that category is the Czech Republic, although I'm no. probably going to go a step down and say no chance. Apologies again to Throw Czech out Republic. all the haters. I know. Um, going on to the next group, Group E, we have got Spain. They really have to redeem themselves here. Yeah, they do. Oh, am I really going to go a full hater here? I don't know why. But I feel like they're going in surprise because surprise they won't be very good. Ooh. I'm not going to say slim chance. I don't think they're a dark horse to win it. Spain will surprise by maybe not being as threatening as, as others would think they are, to mm. be honest. And to be honest, I would probably put Sweden in the surprise mm. category as well. Just because I think that I, I still am holding out that somehow Zlatan is going yeah, to make somehow. a return. So maybe that's why I'm going with surprise. But um, I feel like they may do better than people expect, especially because I kind of agree with you that Spain may not 100% Yeah, bring and they it. did make it to the quarterfinals of the mm. World Cup, Sweden. Yeah. Not terrible. And next up, we have got Poland, who have got one Poland, secret yeah, weapon. Yeah, Lewandowski. <laughs> uh, as much as I love Lewandowski and think he's a goal-scoring machine, one player... To, to drag his team through is going to be very difficult. Mm. I'm going to give them a slim chance, unfortunately. Yes, and we have also got Slovakia in this group. I can't really see them getting mm. out of it, if I'm being honest. So again, I'm going to have to be a hater and go no chance. So, sorry. I hope one Slovakia. of these surprises you, <laughs> you at least what? one. <laughs> I want one of them yeah. to surprise me. That would be great. Um, I mean, going into the next group, we've got Hungary, who are in this arguably oh, group yeah. of death. This is the group of death. I feel so bad for Hungary. I'm going to mm. go no chance. Sorry, guys. <laughs> They're just... I know they've got... No chance. That's it. I'm never going to try and make a case for them. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. <laughs> um, we have also got Portugal. This is a tough one. Obviously, they did win the Euros back in 2016. Yep. I'm just not... Oh, it's, it's hard because there's a lot of talent. Mm. But I don't know if you would class them as dark horses because they already won it. So, true. you know what? I'm going to be positive for Portugal. And, you know, why can't they be finalists again? They've got some great players. Why can't they be yeah. finalists again? Um, that's... I mean, because I've been such a hater, I'm going to go positive. Um, another team, oh, France. Potential winners next. Yeah. <laughs> France are killing it. They're ridiculous. Yeah. It's unfair. And then there is Germany. Um, and I think just because of this group and comparing, still a great team, but comparing the quality that Portugal and France maybe have in comparison, I think kind of surprises but maybe because they're not yeah. going to deliver as much as maybe some people are expecting um a negative surprise <laughs> yeah um and that's it that is it that is it we, well, there have, we have made our decision yes all 24 teams you guys if you could be um bother to type it all out <laughs> let us know in the comment section where you think every single team will manage to finish or surprise us or be a dark horse or even win the competition um, in the comment section down below but yeah for myself and angelina until next time we will see you guys later